Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. This video shows you what settings you need to set on your Fire Stick if your internet connection isn't unlimited, i.e. if you've got a limited amount of data to use. Here in the UK, most internet providers do provide an unlimited internet connection, but that is subject to a fair usage policy. So please check the small print in your contract. If you're using your mobile phone to connect up to your Fire TV stick to stream things, then a lot of mobile phone contracts in the UK aren't unlimited. You are limited to a certain amount of gigabytes of data. Again, please check with your mobile phone provider to see how much usage of data you have. So first things first, what we need to do is we need to go across to settings just there. OK, go down and across to display and audio middle button on the remote control and we go into screensaver. Now, the best thing to do is to turn off the screensaver because this calls out to Amazon to get these lovely photos for your screensaver. Obviously, that takes data. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down to start time. OK, middle button on the remote control and make sure that we've selected never. OK, so if you haven't done already, select never middle button on the remote control. Let's turn the date and clock off as well. Let's turn the display info off as well and the Alexa hints. Shuffle we can leave on or off, but I'm going to turn mine off for good measure. So all of these could take up data. Granted, it's only going to be a small amount of data, but the picture on the screensaver is going to take quite a lot of data. So uh, like I say, make sure that start time is set to never. The other options there are optional. So push the back button, push the back button again. And then what we need to do is we need to go into applications. OK, if we don't use Amazon Photos on the Fire Stick, go into that. OK. Go down to access Amazon Photos if it's enabled, middle button on the remote control and then middle button again to disable and middle button again to disable. And then go back into Amazon Photos and there you go, that's disabled. And we want to turn allow guest connections off. So highlight allow guest connections, middle button, send that to off. Press the back button on the remote control. Then go down to Game Circle, middle button, and make sure that Whisper Sync for Games is off if you don't play games on the Fire TV stick. So mine's on, middle button on the remote control, that turns it off. Press the back button, go down to App Store, OK, and we've got here automatic updates. Now, you might not want apps to automatically update because that does take data. But if you do turn this off, it does mean that you'll miss out on the latest features. And some apps may stop working after a while because they might require the latest update. So this is optional if you're only temporarily going on a limited internet connection, i.e. if you're going away and uh, you know wherever you're staying has only got a limited internet connection or you're going to be temporarily using your phone to uh, connect up to your Fire TV stick, then turn this off. OK, but remember, when you're back on a permanent connection with unlimited usage, make sure you turn this back on. Go down to external market links, middle button on the remote control. And here I would say, go to don't open and uh, that will mean that if you go into an app and it t wants to take you to an external link then uh, it won't open it okay so uh, it might stop the app from fully operating so in which case if it does then come back to this section here and turn on perhaps go to ask before opening i mean ask before opening might be a safer option in hindsight because at least you've got the choice when uh, when you go in to an app. Press the back button, in-app purchases. Normally, I would say turn this off unless you're planning to, uh, to purchase stuff within an app. Go down to simple sign-in, and uh, this here, it's optional whether you leave this on or off. What it does is some apps will automatically sign you in if the, if the app is linked to the Amazon app store and finally go down to notifications and i just turn that off that will 
again, connect up to the internet to give you notifications related to the App Store. Press the back button on the remote, then go down to Manage Installed Applications. Go down the list here, okay, and if there's any apps that you don't use, then uninstall them. Now, some apps you won't be able to uninstall, okay, like a lot of the Amazon apps. If we're going to Amazon Kids, for, for instance, there's no uninstall there. But if I go into, say, a walled VPN, okay, there is an uninstall there. So if you don't use this certain app, then just highlight uninstall, okay, and then middle button again, and that will uninstall the app. And like I say, keep going down that list and have a look to see if there's other stuff in there that you don't use. Because again, when it updates, it could take up unnecessary data. But like I say, there's some apps in there that you won't be able to uninstall. Just The option just won't be there. So unfortunately, there's not much you can do about those. So press the back button again, okay, to go back to the main menu. And then the next thing we wanna do is we wanna go into preferences there. Middle button on the remote control. Go down to privacy settings, middle button, okay. And we can turn off device usage data because this will send data to Amazon. Again, takes up data, gets it uses megabytes. So uh, turn that off, okay. So it gives you a little idea of what you're turning off there. Read that if you're happy to turn it off, then middle button again to turn off. Collect app usage data, now that tells Amazon basically how many times you use the app, how long you use it for, so that they know whether an app's popular or not. So you can turn that off, highlight it, middle button, and middle button again. Interest-based ads, well, again, turn this off. I mean, you're still gonna get ads on the Fire TV stick from time to time, but like I say, turn it off, okay, and uh, you'll see random ads on your Fire TV stick and hopefully might even be less ads. So press the back button on the remote control, go down to data monitoring. Now, this is quite handy if you're on a limited uh, connection because it tells you down here in monthly top usage data, what apps have been using data and how much they've used. So you can actually tell what the offending apps are that are gobbling up all your data. And if you don't use them, then you can uninstall them if, if it allows you to uninstall them. But if you can't uninstall them, then um, you might sort of regulate your usage of those apps if at all possible. But if you'd prefer these apps not to be monitored, then you can turn that off, but I'm gonna leave it on. So go down to set video quality. Now, this um, is handy if you use Prime Video. So uh, here, Obviously, mine's set to best, but if you're on a, a limited connection, then you really need to go to good. And here you've got a set data alert. So if we go in there, you can put in here the amount of gigabytes that you've got available to you, okay, on your limited connection. So you type that in, say mine was 10 gigabytes. Press the play pause button. It asks you to, uh, to enter the start date of your billing, okay. So let's just put in there 14. So that's the, the, the day of the month, okay? And here it says, you will receive an on-screen alert when your Amazon Fire TV stick has consumed 10 gigabytes of data. So press the play pause button to confirm. And uh, there you go. It tells us there now how much we've used out of the 10 gigabytes in this billing cycle. Now, if you've turned that on, okay, and you wanna turn it off, then just go to data monitoring, turn it off and turn it back on again. And there you go, that resets the set data alert. So back button on the remote control, go down to notification settings, middle button, okay, and uh, do not interrupt, I generally turn that on so that uh, you don't get pop-ups on the screen. And app notifications there, you can go through this list of, of apps and, uh, and turn them all off one by one. Back button on the remote control, go down to featured content. Now this here, 
can consume a lot of data, allow video autoplay when that's switched on. Now that is adverts from Amazon and other providers, which you might notice at the front screen of your Fire TV stick. And of course, this is gonna download or stream quite large uh, uh, amounts of data. So uh, we can turn both of these off, allow video autoplay and allow audio autoplay as well so we don't hear things being streamed to our Fire TV stick, like again, adverts. So turn those both off, that's very important. Okay, back button again on the remote control and press the home button to go back to the main menu. Okay, so there might also be other apps you use, such as say YouTube, for instance. Go into it, go into the settings and you wanna turn things off like autoplay. So uh, turn that off and that will save data. It will stop playing the next video. Also go to previews with sound, okay. Turn that off as well. And also go down to improve YouTube, okay, and turn improve YouTube off. That will stop sending anonymous data to YouTube. Again, not gonna suck up a great deal of data, that but uh, it is still some data. So let's come out of that. If there's any other streaming apps you use, like for instance, I don't know, I occasionally use the BBC iPlayer, let's go into that. Just go into their settings, okay? So uh, sign in, go into their settings and have a look to see if they've got anything about usage data in there. I mean, let's just go to settings and help in the BBC iPlayer. Okay, so we've got parental guidance. We've got video quality there. So if we're going to video quality, and there you go, I can reduce the video quality to standard definition. So again, that takes up less data than high definition or best quality. Again, if I go into other settings there, we've got autoplay, so I can turn that off so that it doesn't automatically start playing the next episode. This is handy, like if, for instance, you've been watching something on the BBC iPlayer and perhaps you've fallen asleep, so you don't want it to automatically play the next episode. And like I say, just go into other streaming apps and see whether they have got settings in there to stop autoplay, to reduce the quality, etc. You know, anything that you could, uh, could use to save bandwidth is going to be uh, vital if you're on a limited internet connection. So like I say, any apps that you regularly use, go into them, check the settings, and uh, make sure that if possible, you can set it to, uh, to play standard definition or a lower quality, as that will take up less megabytes and gigabytes on your internet connection. So there you go. Hopefully that's a good few tips for you on how to use your Fire Stick a little bit more wisely on a limited use internet connection. I hope you liked this video and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released, hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.